Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video, I would like to recreate an impactor like patch. I know it was a video pre recorded as part of the Beep Street uh, uh, website on Drumbo. Um, but all the tutorials I have seen or videos that I've seen don't really explain how to create one. So let's have a go and let's create a simple version because uh, as you know, uh, you start from uh, um, the, the fundamental concept and then you can expand yourself uh, as you move forward. So here we are in Drumbo, uh, just opened it and let's remove the MIDI to CV module because we don't really need it. Um, what I'm going to do is to create first a patch and um, and then I'm going to enable the um, the audio input from external through the microphone. Another point you will hear um, that as you tap um, on the table or a surface, the sound will be picked up from the microphone and then it will be transformed in interesting in interesting sounds and that typically give you that impact or like patch um so let's click on the start uh, to add a new rack or module uh, let's start with going to the miscellaneous or utility and let's add the transient detector and this uh, helps you to detect um um, um high amplitude uh, sounds uh, which then uh, which occur at the beginning with waveform of a, of a sound so then what we're going to do we're going to stay on this category and add also CV quantizer and we will use the CV quantizer to um, effectively uh, quantize um, frequency to specific notes for having specific pitches and in this case let's select a C, a D sharp, a G and a sharp so typical uh, minor scale in C. Then let's add also on the processor a wave guide which we will use to create that typical uh, membrane uh, type of, of sound so um, we connect that uh, the waveguide to the transient, uh, transient uh, waveform that um, will work uh, very well. Then uh, we will connect uh, the pitch here from the CV quantizer to the velocity of the transient because uh, what, you, what we need to do is to have um, the CV quantizer acting on the velocity of uh, uh, those uh, high amplitude that are detected through you tapping uh, near a microphone where, whether as I said earlier whether you tap on a on a table or just um, uh, through your hands near the microphone and we want and in so doing it will restrict based on the velocity to the type of notes we select in this scale um then what we're going to do we're going to modulate the frequency okay based on the output from the cv quantizer so that if the cv quantizer is quantized with, within these notes we take the the frequency and we input it here so we click on here the four and we choose the cv quantizer as a output um okay so then we increase the influence of the CV quantizer um, to the frequency of the waveguide. And, um, and then what we are going to do next is to enable the input from the microphone. So you click here where it says one on this heading and um, you scroll down to where it says audio uh, and then audio from. At the moment it says track input, click on it scroll the very bottom and select external external audio and as you i enable these you will i will start then to tap um, on uh, on my table or near the microphone so that you will start to hear 
the sound being detected, quantized, and going through the waveguide and give you that uh, typical percussion sound. So let's have a go. Okay, I decrease the master volume now so that my voice doesn't interfere on the micro microphone. So as um, well, it will still interfere on the microphone, but you will not hear it uh, through the recording of the iPad. And as you can hear, as I was tapping on uh, on the table near the microphone, the sound was converted, quantized uh, here, and then. Uh, um, different frequencies were acting on the way guide which was uh, producing that percussion sound and you can change the filter the feedback um, so have a play you can reach some very interesting effects you can also add for example to make it more interesting uh, a chorus and also perhaps a a delay uh, effect so let's try again let's increase the master volume Try to, for example, click your fingers near the microphone and you will hear this uh, effect. The faster you click and you act on the velocity, the higher the pitch will go, which will be quantized. So I hope you find um, you found that the uh, this is interesting. I know there are other videos on YouTube, but I haven't seen yet one which goes through the explanation how to create one. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, as always, see you next time. Bye.